Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassandra for those of you guys who don't know me and today we are going to be talking about the essentials that you need for any kind of intense camping trip. Uh, for me, I am a zoologist and so I do a lot of field research and usually when I do these field research studies we are out in the middle of the jungle or in this case it's going to be the desert and we don't have a lot of accommodations, right? We're usually sleeping um, in sleeping bags on the ground or maybe a tent. Um, in this case, I will be purely outside just being one with nature. So I'm super excited, but it's definitely essential that when you do plan trips like this, we want to make sure we have everything we need, right? Um, so this, this video will help go over all of those um, essential packing items, as well as any kind of advice from my different experiences and what all I am packing. So currently, um, I am going to be packing for my trip to Baja, Mexico. I am so excited. Uh, we are going to be studying whale sharks and scorpions and all kinds of flora and fauna of Baja. So yeah, let's let's get into it. <laughs> The first item on the packing list is the most obvious, which you need a really good sturdy book bag. I was lucky enough to be able to borrow book bags from the zoo that I work at as they supply me free items whenever I am going on animal research trips like this to use and borrow, which is super, super helpful. One of the first essentials I bring when I'm going on trips like this is something that I am able to charge my phone with. So if I do not have access to electricity or anything like that, getting a solar power battery charger is definitely the way to go. Um, these charge by the sun, so I always keep them facing out on my book bags, especially when in warmer clients where that sun is very prevalent. Um, it also has a flashlight on there and a USB which connects to my phone and a compass. But let's say it's really rainy that day, you're not getting any sun, I always have a portable backup charger carried with me as well. Next, I make sure I have a reliable sleeping bag. Um, depending on the weather of where you're going, it's definitely to look into if you need any extra blankets or anything like that. Luckily, where I'm going is pretty warm, so I can pack pretty light. For the next, I would say bring anything you know you specifically need. For me, this is my research thesis and stuff that I need for school. Next, I make sure to have a portable hydration pack on me and this snaps right on the back of the backpack. If I get tired of sleeping in my sleeping bag or let's say a hammock just looks really nice for me that night, I usually bring my double nested hammock. Next, I always pack my first aid kit. Bug spray and sunscreens are definitely a must. Not the most fashionable look, but I usually have a fanny pack with me if I'm going to a new country and I just keep all of my money, IDs, and passports on that. So that way I make sure I do not lose anything. I also have water purification tablets that I use so I can drink out of local streams if I need to or any kind of questionable water. Next, I have my binoculars as well as a flashlight and an LED arm light flashlight. I also have instant cooling towel that gets cool as soon as it turns wet. Luckily, I don't have to worry about bringing any necessities when it comes to taking showers there as the field research station offers me to be able to use their facilities to take showers every few days. A heavy duty water bottle that retains temperature is definitely a must when out in the field. Here are all the clothes that I packed that I needed. Um, you can tell I'm having clothes that blend in in the field, so that's just particular to me for the research studies that I do. Next, I also packed my scuba gear, which includes my snorkels, my goggle, as well as my fins and fin socks. Now, when it comes to putting all this stuff together into the backpack, you're going to need a lot of carabiners. After packing personal items such as medications, toiletries, anything like that I'm going to need, I am all set. If you like videos like this and want to see more of what I do, go ahead and like and subscribe.